we're at the Activision booth. Just checked out Call of Duty World War II or WW2, however you want to call it. Joining me right now is Sean, a multiplayer design lead for the game. One of the uh, biggest things I noticed about the new multiplayer is the division class that you choose as opposed to the creative class that wasn't past uh, Call of Duty games. Can you kind of uh, explain what's going on? Yeah, so Divisions is, is a, a pretty fundamental reimagining of Creative Class for us. So the Pick 10 system is now replaced by Divisions. And what we wanted to do is kind of bring some, some history into your Creative Class. History is super important to us, obviously going back to World War II. So we want to you know, incorporate that anywhere we can. So Divisions was one place for us to do that. And, and also going back to, to kind of Call of Duty's roots and boots on the ground gave us the opportunity to, to really take a fresh look at a lot of those fundamental things. The basic idea behind Divisions is you've got your kind of um, quintessential you know, um, World War II themed divisions that you'd expect to see. You've got your Airborne Division, your Armored Division, um, expeditionary force. There's three kind of basic components to it. There's your divisional training, your basic training, and your division weapon skill. And you're able to, you know, kind of mix and match different components of these to, to kind of customize your play style and uh, just take kind of class customization to, to the next step for us. Yeah, I had a good time. Well, actually, I started with the mountain sniper. I kind of had a tough time uh, on the Point du Hoc map using the mountain sniper, so I had to switch to the airborne. It's a little bit more my play style, and, and it, it was pretty cool. Can you talk about kind of the weaponry each uh, character or class has? Yeah, so uh, with the divisions, the, the weapon is not um, constrained or, or restricted by division, but they do have kind of focuses. So your airborne is going to be your SMGs, and the weapon skill there is the ability to, to attach a suppressor anytime you want. You can take it off, put it on, you know, tactically, strategically. Your uh, infantry division now has the bayonet. They're more rifle focused, right? Kind of your, your, your guys out there with the M1 Garands and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, running through the trenches with the, with the bayonet charge is a super fun thing to do. Um, the expeditionary, more focused on shotguns, so you've got the incendiary shells there. Uh, and, I mean, what better way to make a shotgun cooler than to light guys on fire with it, right? Um, your mountain division, more focused on snipers, um, so you've got the sharpshooter ability there, where when you hold your breath, you, uh, the, the, the background kind of narrows in, blacks out on the, on the edges, you get the sound kind of ducks down, and you get a little aim assist added, and that's the, uh, that's the weapon skill for that. Uh, and then you've got your, your armored division, which is a cool one, uh, more focused on heavy weapons, LMGs, explosives, things like that that with your LMG now, you can actually go and mount your LMG on any any cover piece or, or just on the ground if you want to. Uh, kind of pull out your bipod and you get a tighter aim, uh, tighter spread, uh, which is cool just for kind of locking down areas in DOM or, or in war mode. Yeah, that's that's uh, kind of the, the focuses for each of the divisions. Speaking of the modes, I got to play Team Deathmatch, uh, Domination, but I had a lot of fun doing the war mode. Can you kind of explain what war mode is? Yeah, war mode is something I'm I'm super excited about. I'm so glad to be able to actually talk about it and share it with people. Um, so what we really wanted to do there is is for the first time is really put players in a scenario where it feels like they're being put into an actual World War II battle. So there's kind of an overarching mission objective. There's a reason why you're there, right? The the goal that you're trying to achieve. It's asymmetrical gameplay, attackers, defenders us against them, Axis and allies, and it's just the, the kind of the purest form of, of World War II and Call of Duty MP. The, the map that we're shown here at E3 is uh, called Operation Breakout. It's based on the, uh, the allies push out of Normandy after, you know, pushing out of the beachhead and further into France for the liberation of France. And again, the history is, is really important, so that's based on an actual operation in the war. You know, the primary mission objective in, in this map is to destroy uh, enemy artillery emplacements. And the things that you're doing along the way, it's it's really interesting and dynamic and changing gameplay. So first, you're you're securing forward territory by capturing a manor that the that the Axis hold. Uh, next thing you're doing, you're moving on and, and building a bridge to allow your armored units to cross and push on uh, further into the uh, the map. Next thing is you're destroying an enemy ammo depot, uh, and then finally you're you're escorting your tank. As you go, so you kind of got the, the armored column moving forward with the guys on the flanks, and you can jump in the MG turret on top and, and use that to kind of defend as your units push forward. And uh, finally, you know, you get the tank escorted to the end, and it takes out the artillery. So you're doing all these things that soldiers did in World War II, building bridges, destroying things, uh, capturing territory, all kind of strung together in really interesting and unique ways. So re really excited about it. It's one of the biggest things that we're bringing to the table this year. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the beta that's coming up? 
Uh, yeah, so the beta is uh, coming in in August. August 25th, I believe, is, is the date for the beta. Invincible.